Good morning everyone. Today in my home office, <laughs> in different wall as you can see, uh, we're going to talk with Natalia Gritchenko about ombre nails. So different ombre types and uh, we, as we were talking last time, um, Natalia will make a demo and I will make a demo. So stay tuned. I will uh, let Natalia join me in a second. And tell me, how are you guys doing today? So, who is watching, who is joining us? And Natalia is here. Perfect. Natalia connecting. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Just don't understand why my this moment why my headphones they don't work somehow <laughs> okay well um can you hear me though no good morning sandra how are you doing i'm missing people i'm missing to see all of the shows guys so who is watching me today can i see and uh, natalia where is natalia oh headphones don't work so we are gonna uh make own brand nails as i said <laughs> rain yeah we all need rain here in uh, north america and it's um, funny in europe they have too much rain and we have here not enough rain so uh, Anna Maria is here hi so Natalia can you hear me now yeah I hear you perfectly just my headphones somehow they don't they doesn't want they don't want to work together with that's okay okay <laughs> dokie yes. well uh, we're gonna make ombre nails today and I didn't fix my ear uh, nails so we'll have to do it one uh, one time one time yeah sometime uh, sometime yeah. yes and uh, so let's talk about um, basic salon ombre nails and um, i've prepared actually two demos today one with a white and one with a colored um, a stamper or mm -hmm. sponge mm -hmm. so and you are going to show our fantastic ombre brush that is all, actually also click on brush, right? Like we have them on click on and not click on as far as I remember, but I have them yes, only in click on anyways. We have click on and not click on. Just a moment, I just have to find my tips. God. Okay. Well, that, um, yeah, easy, they're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the problem with Ombre, uh, always like, yeah, I'm always saying that the easiest uh, Ombre will, can be made uh, with uh, air air nails that's true or airbrush but still sometimes you know you're like just to make an ombre then you have to buy the machine then you have to apply for the course and you must apply for the course otherwise if you will not do it then you can uh, not destroy but uh, create some issues with your machine and you will not be happy with what you are doing and and gel polishes everybody has I'm sure about that, that people that who never making nails, they still have gel polish at home, which is okay. <laughs> Actually, I don't like this idea because this product still has to be professional product, but still it is what it is. So I will show to you the easiest way how to make an ombre and I will use new gel polishes. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, I will go to, and uh, please guide me with lightning. I just have to move this way. Maybe I will move a bit down. Yeah, now it's better. Now it's better. There are some tricks about ombre. So uh, one of the first tricks that uh, all, uh, ombre will be nicely made on some white base. Like for instance, I'm using this tip now. So let's use... Um, so if you're making nails, them. you would make them out of the white base. So like... Um, 
fiber coat yes. white or fiber gel white or yes that, that's probably. possible yes mm -hmm. and it's absolutely possible so uh it's like a first thing second um, trick is that when you're choosing colors they must be pastel colors okay uh because of these colors they have a white pigment inside then it will be easy for us to mix them mm -hmm. if you don't have uh, this um, white pigment then the best way to do it on white background mm -hmm. and uh, the colors that you are choosing actually they must match each other obviously like uh, if you are using cold tones it's better to make everything in cold but if you are using uh, some warm uh, shades, oh, it's yeah. warm. shades yes then it's better like to divide them and to use it with okay, okay. anyway i have chosen these two colors mm -hmm. I just have to decide which one where I will apply and the lightest one I will apply first. Hi Magda. Hello Magda. So it has to be just like uh, the, I will, how would say it, yeah like base layer. Mm -hmm. On the whole nail? And, yes. Okay. And we have to cure it. Hello, Magda. Yeah, I put some air bubble. Can you bring it a little bit high in the camera? Uh, yes. Like, so in the yes. picture? Yes, yeah, thank yes. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's hiding. not the problem. Behind the comments. Mm -hmm. So I will remove comments. So then I will see what I'm doing. <laughs> but Go then yeah, I will ask you to comment. Mm -hmm. And if I'm choosing to use this beautiful blackberry color on the top, I will apply it on the top. And straight towards this color, I will apply cherry. Mm -hmm. You see, it turns out that cherry is being, I would say, lighter looking, actually darker, but still. <laughs> <laughs> and you will need, of course, brush wipe. Mm -hmm. And there are some little tricks. You will need a paper palette mm -hmm. and you will need top gel. Mm -hmm. I just hold it in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like this okay so you can use any tom gel i will okay. use for instance basin top because uh, this top gel we're going to use as a like to thin the colors in between mm -hmm. when you have it i will just remove it here mm -hmm. then i will go with my ombre brush you see that it looks really funny mm -hmm. i will find the focus mm -hmm. yeah so uh, it's like many many brush pens <laughs> on one brush and now what you uh, you want to do we don't you see want... you need higher mm -hmm. thank you yeah uh, i want to start with my top gel mixing colors in between oh that's so easy then oh, clean your easy. brush but it is very easy i was i really was struggling with um with ombre honestly to say and i was struggling for a long time until i realized that the best way to do it and if I see that I don't have enough color, I just will add. Mm -hmm. It will self-level. And don't forget to use your to thinner <clears throat> to thinner your 
Now I found my Tumcha. <laughs> Your colors. So it doesn't matter which top gel with the sticker or without sticker layer? Does not matter. Mm -hmm. Can you get a little bit more central, please? Uh, sorry. And of course, it has to be a thin one. For instance, we cannot use uh, top gel for this because it's quite thick. I the mean, top, top gel, gel out of the jar. The jar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Because it will be thick. And obviously, and it's almost done. <clears throat> I don't like, honestly, to say myself, I don't like the idea to go everywhere, like, then another time, and then another time, and then another time, mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I would prefer just to go back to uh, clean your brush, fill it up mm -hmm. with top gel, and just correct it like this. So you are going across like this. That's interesting. Yes. Yeah. This is Very I'm doing cool. just on ju just on the end. Mm -hmm. So you know, then in this way, and also like your movements, like you are working with your spade. So you are going in, mm -hmm. out like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. It lo it looks like it's working like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it tapping. But so you're yeah. actually mixing it's them going like this. in and then going mm -hmm. up and then in and up so then with this movement you will have this mixing that's cool yeah, yeah. Don't see. Don't see. sorry i did not cure my tip properly so that's why uh i have this like strange thing but actually it's done we don't see that strange thing <laughs> oh. <laughs> perfect you see it just on, in, on the side we just see it. perfect uh ombre that's everything what we see <laughs> so that's that's, that's one way how we can do it mm -hmm. and we have another ways and there are, there are millions of them mm -hmm. really <laughs> so you also can make like sort of milky ombre this is when you have uh, like your white background and then let's choose different colors. Let's do it between blackberry and pistachio. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Those new colors are so beautiful. I can't, I can't wait to get them. I think that will be a runner and, here. And here you see that I'm not uh, applying any base layer. Mm -hmm. I'm just applying them straight away on the tip. Mm -hmm. You also can make it like with many different colors. So I will put this one. And let's put this one. Make more central, please. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thank yeah, you. guide me, please, because, you know, yeah. when I'm looking, you just... Yeah, I, I know, looking. I know. You don't look in the camera, mm -hmm. and it's okay. That's why yeah. I'm... Yeah, and name. here, no base layer, uh, not, not top gel, nothing. I'm just mixing them, these colors between. Again, like with a little fog, basically, going like tick, 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 but mm -hmm. kind of... Mm -hmm. So then in this case, we can make how many ombre we want. That's great. So idea is that this line, it should not be precise. Just mm -hmm. mix them how they are, because I'm going to seal it with white uh, fiber coat. <gasps> Interesting. Yes. Yeah. Then did you use now also clear uh, in your brush? No, no, just just dry. Just the brush. Okay. Yeah. But you also can use clear, no problem. Mm -hmm. But now I did uh, just dry because I just want to make this quick. Absolutely quick. I'm in a different room today and it's super bright sun outside. So I had to put my glasses on to see what is actually in the camera to like 
have better view and I can see now a tiny little bit of the ocean in my glasses. So you guys, if you want to see some ocean, it's right, really? in, right here. <laughs> like, I can see ocean right there. Pacific Ocean. Yeah, that's cool. God, I cannot find my... You know, everything is on the table. I know, and, and you don't see it in that moment. Mm -hmm. yeah, something, then you're just looking like, where is it? Uh, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Yeah, I think I was, in, I was looking for this just recently. God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I had to prepare everything yesterday to bring it up in this room. And it was funny also because I was like, what do I actually need? And then today I'm like, oh, I forgot the half of it. <laughs> like, so I had, yeah. to, I had to run down again. And, and now we have frosted pink. And first, you know, I prefer to work more precisely. So what I want to do now, I just will place little amount of this frosted pink on the paper palette. So this is fiber coat frosted pink. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's white. white. Sorry, sorry, not frosted okay. pink. Okay, so it is yeah. milky white. Okay. Yes, it's a milky white. Idea okay. is that we want to have this milky white effect. But very, very thin? Or will yeah, it's apply? like, a, it's, it, uh, now I'm applying just very thin layer mm -hmm. because I want to have the raw layer. Mm -hmm. And then from the bottle, mm -hmm. Don't go to sides. It will go itself <laughs> now. Yes, because it will Perfect. go just itself. Yeah, that's the idea of the first layer. Oops. Mm -hmm. That is very pretty. And because, uh, yeah, it, it's also very quick because we did not pay so much attention on um, ombre itself. We mm -hmm. just like slept it. And then we we'll sort of hidden it, mm -hmm. hide it with uh, white. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's not like completely necessary to pay so much attention on the... My on advice... The yeah. yeah, my advice to the students doing this art uh, try not to put um, pink, red, or um, yellow, greenish shades along the cuticle, because then when you cover it with white, it looks like inflamed nails or if you have fungus underneath. So yes. Be very um, smart picking your colors and explain the clients if they want it in that color, or some orange or whatever, like tell them that it might look like um, inflamed. So be careful mm -hmm. about that. I don't know that is so beautiful. Uh, also using glitter underneath with that white um, fiber coat. And we had also a video with that too. I did that once. What is that? Flakes. <sighs> because life without flakes is dull. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what I want to do now, I just will take again my wet brush. and just decorate it in the cuticle. Mm, beautiful. Mm -hmm. and can you please show us a little bit closer oh. when you're done? Yes. Uh, this is just a beautiful like, silvery shimmer right now. Is it right? <laughs> uh, no, it's not like silver. It's um, also, it's, it's gold, purple. Beautiful. Everything all together. Very beautiful. Just Fun. in the cuticle area. Fun. Or you can put it as well on the edge. Or oh, everywhere. <laughs> yes, or oh, everywhere. And then shine like a star you are. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Yes. And then into the lump. That's awesome. 
So just 30 seconds will be enough for that. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to clean your brushes. Otherwise, they can get hard and it will be hard, hard to clean them. And we can seal it with matte top coat or we can seal it with shiny top coat. Let's use matte top coat because all pastel colors, they are specially made for matte top coat. Don't you agree? Yeah. Otherwise, they look like candy is also not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And That's awesome. That's so beautiful. The final curing time is one and a half minute, but still you can make like flash curing mm -hmm. for all top gels, but don't forget to put it to the lamp for full time of curing one and a half minute. It's Mag better. Yeah, Magda says beautiful color. It looks amazing. Thank you, Magda. Okay, so, so we don't lose the time. Oh, that's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this way and this ombre we made before, we also can decorate it if we want or just we can seal it with, yeah, let's use now gloss. Yeah, you see, if you apply your product too thick, then you can have this problem, you see. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, it's like shrinking. That's why we have to be sure that all product that we are applying, it has to apply it in le even layer. Mm -hmm. Well, you also then cured with that little um, uh, lamp. So it, um, yeah, usually when clients put it in the hand, in the lamp, it's also a little bit yes. faster from all sides. The, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's very beautiful. And then you can put stamping, you can put any nail art, whatever you want. Absolutely. So you also, by the way, can mix colors together with your fiber coat. <gasps> really? Yes. Wow. That's also possible. Mm -hmm. So then you also will have this nice effect. Just a moment, I will take a tip. So it's already white, then it's okay. Then let's apply color. And more central, please. Sorry. Again, it depends. And you can make it not only like horizontal, but also vertical, how you like it. Mm -hmm. And fiber coat. Then for that, it's better to use the base that made also with fiber coat white. Did you try the same way fiber coat cover pink and white? Oh. Cover, is it cover pink? Is it, uh, fiber coat cover pink. Yes, yeah, it's also possible. I did not try it, but it's also possible. Mm -hmm. Clean the brush and then mix them together. Using clear or no using clear? I don't use clear now. Okay. Because white is already quite thick product. Mm -hmm. And now if I'm not happy, then I will have to go. I have already white. A little bit more central, please. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you. And from this side. I will do it as well. Ding, 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 ding. That's awesome. But I always will go here. My cat again came here. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I think that she's just coming just to destroy the furniture. She's coming to say hello. Uh, no, she's coming just to destroy my uh, my couch, you know. <laughs> yeah that's done that's awesome that's so fast and easy oh my god and i love this bluish color like a very very light blue yeah. that's it's pista pistachio 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 yes yeah 
where you would expect pistachio being greener, but it's beautiful color. It is uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit greener. I would say that perhaps that on the camera, it just okay. looks like that. Mm -hmm. So when it's done, then you will up again easy. Mm -hmm. And you can do it with, yeah, with fiber coats and also with any colors. Cool. Because uh, this, and also I love the base of this product. The base very smooth and highly pigmented. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then let let make me a couple demos. Me. Then yeah, I will show to you my end result. Yes, please. So I just will seal it with supreme finish. Mm -hmm. I think that everybody loves supreme finish. We absolutely do. So very easy ombre. Pum, pum, pum. Done. Pum, pum. So beautiful. And of course, it would yeah. also look amazing with a uh, matte coat. Ah, yes, because all pastel colors specially made for extreme matte coat. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so and now I will go back to myself mm -hmm. and I will see what you are oh, doing. Wow. And I will apply an nail plate extender, one mm -hmm. of my favorite um, nude colors. Because it's okay. suitable pretty much almost to everyone. Yes, almost to everyone. <laughs> yeah, so it's very, very neutral nude color. And I will apply a little bit more just to use it in one layer. Mm -hmm. But usually I would apply it in two layers. But it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Cool. And as this is curing, I will also uh, take a one of the latest colors, the Kiwi. Okay. <laughs> And I'll show you also some colored ombre. Colored ombre. And this is also super easy applicable, as you can see. Yes, uh, it's, it's very easy to apply. It's, it's just like a, like melted butter. Yeah, just wait for a second and it's already absolutely beautiful coverage. I will just turn it upside down a little bit because it's a little bit cold in here. Mm -hmm. So it's perfectly. It's already look. Look at these highlights. Oh, so beautiful! It just it trace like yeah. Take off line uh, yeah, just in the put a little bit too much on this side. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why it's important to apply our product as even as possible. Mm -hmm. But it, on one side, it's when you have light. I have today light only from one side, that's why I don't see what I'm doing on the other side. So here it is. That's now absolutely perfect. But at least you have ocean. I have ocean, yes. Well, I have um, um, Airbnb people living downstairs and it's beside my my salon. So and we don't want to disturb each other. <laughs> so now I'm taking um, gel paste. Oh, sturdy, okay. sorry. So we have gel paste and uh, liner gel uh, white. So it's different colors. This is different product number. So it has 800 on the end. Mm -hmm. And gel paste is thicker. Mm -hmm. Much thicker, yes. Yeah. Much thicker than the liner gel. Mm -hmm. And I will take a little bit. And this little bit will last long, 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 long time. I also like to remove the sticky layer or apply um, extreme mud. On the gel polish because otherwise it will be a little bit bubbly. I will okay. explain you a little why. So just to wipe it off. And then I'm taking my sponge brush. Mm -hmm. uh, this sponge brush is very easy to clean in alcohol. And then let okay. it dry. It becomes big, but let it dry and it will be thin again. Uh, it's like small. This is cleaned brush, so you see it's almost near to perfect. Maybe it's after done. you also, also will show to us how to do it. I might. <laughs> yes. 
Okay. Thank yes, you. I have alcohol here. <laughs> okay. So just uh, <laughs> tap a little bit on your plate, on your palette. Mm -hmm. Tap in the color and tap. Oops. No. Gosh. Okay. Just use just sponge. Yeah. <laughs> And then look at that and then on the side it's always clean here so i'm going with the clean side and just remo remove the excess y yeah i'm going to kind of um blend it in mm -hmm. so then i cure it a flesh okay. cure it go again with a sponge And uh, when you are going with the sponge on the gel, you are all, you are tapping all time on the same place or on some other place on your paper. I tapped on the gel, and then I'm tapping uh, j just to bring the gel into the sponge. But if okay. I would always stamp in the gel, then mm -hmm. it would be more and more and more. What I want is evenly applied, so the sponge okay. is taking the gel in, right? Okay, and also like it's like the pigment on the top. Exactly. And then I can mm. tap again. Mm -hmm. And if I want more, or oh, didn't cure on the end. If I want more, I can just tap a little bit more and actually bring pure color in. Cool. It's very easy. It is super easy. And it's, um, but if you do too much, like too much of tapping, mm -hmm. it, it yeah. becomes bubbly. So you have bubbles. You have to be very careful. Yeah. So cure it completely. And then if you want, mm -hmm. you can go one more time again. In the meantime, as it's curing, I will show you this one. Okay. And this one is easy because I will take concentrate. Really? Yes. Okay, show me. I'm curious. I never did it before. <laughs> so the color <laughs> concentrates, as you might know, well, you know, but uh, as our uh, viewers uh, might, know, might know, might not know, they're just colored concentrates. There is no gel inside. So to work with them, you will need, um, oh, and I need one more blue mm -hmm. dot. So I'll have three colors, here you go. And they're just pigments, right? So there is no gel inside. That's why I'm not wiping sticky layer off here. Mm -hmm. And I will take the sponge I actually already used for that and I didn't clean it because I was working with it. Okay. So now, well, of course, you can be very uh, accurate taking spatula and mix them. Or you can just go. Okay. And you are mixing them together. Oh, that's interesting. And, and now, um, yes, I'm really curious. Oh, really? Wow. First layer. <laughs> Cura. Uh-huh. So while okay. I'm, when I'm curing it, the sticky layer from underneath is kind of attaching the um, pigment to it, mm -hmm. right? So that's why you need to cure, even though there's no gel uh, in the, um, there's no gel in the concentrate. And there's mm -hmm. my um, cured again. I will go with the white again, just to, mm -hmm. to show you that you oh. can do it as many times as you want until you have the perfect result, right? Until you are happy, yeah, and it's very smooth. Mm -hmm. It is very smooth, and with a matte top coat, of course, it will look amazing. I will show you in a second. So curing this, and coming back to the green one. I don't like to waste yeah. the time, so I'm just doing two designs at a time. So here, okay. I'm going just in the blue with the same sponge. Mm -hmm. In bringing the concentrate in. And just go with the third My God. color. There is something. I, in. I, never, hmm? I never I never was thinking about that. It's so cool idea. Well, the thing is that when your clients are coming and, and showing you picture and want colored uh, ombre because they saw air nails and you don't want to do air nails, <laughs> you become very creative. There is something. Yeah. Oh, you don't have air nails. Oh, you don't have a time to do it or you don't have that color that they want or whatever right yeah so you can of course you can mix um the 
um, you can mix the concentrates with the white, but then you will have also a very pastel color. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm not super happy about the result, but I will cure it a little bit, put uh, mm -hmm. some extra mat on top of it, and then I will uh, finish one more time. So here I'm putting the extreme mat on top. Yes, extreme mat just specially made for all pastel colors. Mm -hmm. I'm joking, not only for pastel, for any colors. Yeah, but the pastels with matte is just like a perfect combination. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I have here. Oh. Something stuck. Something stuck. So always when you work on the camera, you're just like, oh. Hey, I have shrink shrinking uh, on, on my <laughs> tip. <laughs> you're allowed to, I'm not. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you're my teacher. You're allowed to, to do something. <laughs> and I'm not. No, that's not, that's not right. I would say that all of us, we all allowed to make mistakes. And as more mistakes, we are not allowed to repeat mistakes. That's to, different. To what? <laughs> repeat mistakes. Oh, repeat mistakes, yeah. Repeat mistakes is stupid because you see that already did not work before. Why do you have to repeat it again? Just, you know... <laughs> Just, just for what? <laughs> but if you're making mistakes, it's okay because it's also always the experience mm -hmm. and knowledge. Of course, you can probably mix. That would probably also be a good idea. Let's try to mix a little bit of the mat mm -hmm. with a concentrate. How about that? Will that work? Let's try it. Yeah, it will work, of course probably then be a little bit softer than just the concentrate i think so that's because try. you are like thinning a bit the uh, the color the pigment itself again tap 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 oops and tap, tap. yes i would say it looks yeah softer that's much better mm -hmm. yeah beautiful yeah and then you can go a little bit more and Get here a little bit more. Make it more darker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's much better using the uh, matte top coat clear. in combination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you see again with a clean part, I'm just stepping where where the, the connection is. It's mm -hmm. hard to see in, in the mm -hmm. camera. It looks pretty dirty for me in the camera. I don't know if you can see the the blue, green to blue, and it's actually pretty cool. It's coming, yes. That's better. Mm -hmm. yeah, and because it was not, not smooth um, coming like from uh, from the blue. Yeah, I wanted to do like th three stages, but it didn't really work. So yeah, that's okay. Super. Okay. That's super super, but I, an idea is absolutely great. Yeah, because I had here another one I did. Mm -hmm. before it's also yeah. but it looks better. the one that i prepared before looks better for me honestly and this is my <laughs> first result and of course i have yes. dirty fingers now so this is just a very light you can of course make a little bit dark you can make a little bit more white you can make a little bit um less bit white so further to the cuticle because yeah it also depends what i have noticed that people who are living on the north of our planet mm -hmm. they prefer to have less white and more pink mm -hmm. and people who are living to the south they prefer to have more white and less pink well i'm absolutely nordic girl <laughs> I, <laughs> I grew up in the northern metropole of the world <laughs> so, <laughs> yes north north is me yeah <laughs> and again i i'm in the mat mood today because you are using the best matte top in the nail world that's why it's very easy to fall in love with extreme matte top gel beautiful and then stamping or sticker or whatever or flakes <laughs> yeah flakes oh my god yeah 
yeah, so the color concentrates are, oops, let me put you in, absolutely uh, a great thing because you can create any colors you like. And I did with uh, white, I used white paste and a little bit of color concentrate uh, mm -hmm. and change the color. And then that looks pretty cool. So yes. yeah, also a pastel uh, connection, mm -hmm. as you say. Yeah. So yeah, that was the easiest ombre uh, types for for everyday life. But of course, we will get back to the ear nails and show the ear nails because, of course, it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> you said it in this way, like it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the results are always amazing. I'm always amazed by like how great they are. And I actually did quite a few um, uh, ear nails on my clients, um, mm -hmm. and I did ombre nails, of course, on my clients. Um, they always ask, and I have one client who's always like, did you get back into the air nails? Did you get back into air nails? Instagram. Let me show, see if, I, in my Instagram, I have a couple pictures uh, that I, uh, uh, that I did with air nails. Um, so, so you know that I actually can. <laughs> of course I know that you can. <laughs> I have sometimes the feeling I need to prove myself all the time. Ah, um, time ago. I, you know, I think that this is very good feeling. Oh my God, you can't oh. see anything. Let me, <laughs> let oh, me turn around. We can, we can see only... Uh, ocean. <laughs> ocean. Yes, look. This is it's really very, very easy. Like, bomb bomb and, and done. You just, you just have to buy the equipment, you have to buy uh, paint, you have to buy a lease, you have to buy this, and then you have to apply for courses, and then bam, bam, easy peasy, it's done. Yeah, but this is actually <laughs> the sparkling pink power gel and yes. this uh, white ombre. Uh -huh. I had him more. But I, I would say that this investment with uh, Air Neos, it's absolutely great investment. Mm -hmm. I love your picture how you're sitting on that chair. That one? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I was back in my salon. I don't have it anymore. Uh, okay, you will have something new one. I don't really want a new salon. I'm, I'm good working at home. I have now the clients again coming super. I don't remember. There wasn't, oh, I don't have it here. I had um, air nails. Oh, there's the, the YouTube video I showed with three different mm -hmm. uh, ombres, actually, but it's a long time ago. Mm, I don't see it here. And it's probably not on my Instagram. I had it, um, uh, the, uh, the turtle, turtle design. Mm -hmm. And because I had two uh, guns, it was very easy. I just did one gun and then another gun on each nail with the, with the lace. So I didn't have to... Mm -hmm get back in the same spot that's just super easy but we will get to that i will practice yes. a little bit and we will make some time <laughs> take, take me by word and make me do it <laughs> okay let's do it <laughs> perfect but next week we will talk about magnetic gels and compare all magnetic um building gels like out of the jars sculpt and a lot of sculpting fiber builders standard the difference exactly and I have which, which, which one we have to use when, which one, yeah, the way of using. That's a great topic. I love it. Yeah, we really need that. We have to squeeze it on an hour to put it on Instagram, but so it will be quick. You will talk and yeah. I will talk, show, like just yeah. the, the viscosity and the colors, yes. probably, mm -hmm. because I have them all here, I have them all open. And um, yeah, so we'll go quick from ding, 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 ding. And also, channel. exactly. And also, if people don't know, we have it all in catalog. So if you place it in an order, just ask me to send you a catalog and I will send it with uh, the gels. Super. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Well, yes, that's, and that's remember good. that Magnetic is the safest product that with Magnetic you will be absolutely safe to work because it's cosmetically proved materials. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Natalia, for joining me and today and showing you. us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a very nice day and I will go to do something around the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah, because thank it's you. dinner time. Okay. All thank right. You, Nadia. <laughs> well, I can just yes, start my day today. It was a huge pleasure as always. Thank you very much. See thank you. you. Thank you, girls. Thank you, Magda, for being with us and supporting us. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.
Bye.